Hey guys, welcome to Watchdog Central, and today we're going to be talking about gollywogs. Now, if you're not sure what a gollywog is, or you've never saw a gollywog before, here's a picture of a gollywog for you right now. As you can see, gollywogs look extremely funny to look at. They look extremely cute to some people, not to all people. Now, these little motherfuckers used to be the rage back in the day. I mean, people used to love these things back in the day. They used to be the rage. Everyone used to... Kids used to have them as toys back in the day. They used to have them little, little, little cuddly toys. But over the past 30, 40 years, they've gone right off key, man. People just... They don't take to them the way they used to. Now, what I mean by people not taken to them the way they used to basically means that the political correctness got hold of them. Whereas, okay, you can state that you think they're racist, which lots of people did, but then the majority, I'd say the majority of people didn't actually have an issue with them. That's my personal opinion. I was a kid in the 80s and I remember them extremely well. And kid children used to love them, you know. That, it, it was the sign on Robertson's jam jars. I mean, I, as a kid in the 80s, we used to get jam every week or marmalade every week. And Robertson was the main brand of jam or marmalade to get back in the 80s. And every kid always remembers the little gollywog sign. Now, you know, we, we, used to, we used to laugh at it. We thought it was fucking hilarious. It was just a really cool fucking looking thing. That's what my opinion of it is. But I know... From reading articles, especially back in the over the last 20 years, I know that there's some people out there that just, they really detest them. So basically, what they done was they decided to wipe them off the face of the earth. They decided to replace Robertson. Still kept, well, still had the name obviously, but they just got rid of the Gollywog sign. They didn't use the logo anymore. They took as many toys off the shelves as they could. They tried to wipe them out of the whole of the UK. There's still a few a few fluttering about here and there in specific shops where they still sell them saying, hey, fuck you, we're going to sell them regardless. But for the majority of it, no one wants to, uh, quite a lot of people don't want to see them about. And where if, if anyone does, they'll sit there and they'll point the finger, oh, that's so racist, you know. So, I mean, you can, you can have your opinion on that whole thing. But uh, from what I read on some articles today, this this is just beyond the joke. Okay, so here we're going to talk about the Wick Gala Parade in Scotland on Saturday where here's a picture of what three people wore to this event. As you can see, they're all dressed as gollywogs. And it's, they, it says here, three teenagers dressed as the Jackson 5 in golly costumes. And beside the headline it says that they are currently being hunted by the police. Hunted by the police like criminals are you fucking kidding me it just amazes me it amazes me how something like this can be took and blew completely out of proportion it really really does disturb me i mean you can sit here and you can claim that it's racist it's your opinion you feel every right to do that but you know there's, there's something called taking it a tad too fucking far I mean, here, this is another story about the exact same thing. Police are investigating. Investigating. I mean, we're talking about the police are investigating after three youngsters sparked a race row by blacking up as gollywogs for their town summer parade. Now, from what I've read, only one person at this whole event had an issue with this. Only one person came forward. And it was... I, and what, one fucking person, okay? It wasn't until this shit started photographs started showing up on twitter that it actually became a fucking real problem police are investigating after youngsters dressed up as gollywogs for an event incident took place at summer parade in scotland on saturday a number of complaints were made and police are trying to identify the teens it's like a, like a proper fucking criminal event here do you know what i mean it's like you could be out catching real fucking criminals and they're trying and hunting down three people who dressed up for some gala event which they stated they can dress up as anything that they wanted so they dressed up as gollywogs they dressed up as the jackson five they're raising money for charity they're walking around with collection plates collection tins making money for fucking charity and the police are hunting them unfucking believable okay i shall read on this sums up the idiotic careless choice of a few costumes worn at this year's wick gala Anything goes at gala, and apparently this includes racism. A handful of people dressing up as gollywog dolls and blacking up as well-known black celebrities ruined the night. And you notice throughout this year, 
there was only one person that was supposed to have put a complaint in. Clearly it didn't ruin the fucking night if not one, more than one person kicked off about this. I'll read on. It's ridiculous that the people responsible for these costumes didn't even consider how offensive they were being. Like you say again, offensive to one person. Now, there was lots of people at this event, no one else kicked up a storm. Just think about it. If this was so offensive and they were being so offensive to people, then surely maybe they might have been attacked because they had black faces and they were being racist. Or maybe, you know, someone might have actually started shouting and went, went to the management of this event and actually stated, well, these people are wearing this and I find it extremely offensive. Can you do something about it? Yet, they seem to have slipped under the radar the entire night and not one person had a problem with it until it turned up on social media on places like fucking Twitter. How offensive they were being. So offensive that they slipped up. They, they were there the whole fucking night. I don't think that Wick is a racist place. It's just not caught up with everyone else with its dated views and attitudes. If Wick Gala wants to continue, then there's a lot of locals who seriously need to educate themselves on the bigger issues of the world. Yeah, because it, on the day, it was really a fucking problem, wasn't it? Okay. On the night in question, none, none of the organisers saw these participants as we were busy elsewhere running the float parade. There clearly couldn't have been too much of a concern if no one put complaints in and no, hardly anybody spotted these people or saw them. Okay, we will have to discuss what has happened as a committee to see how we can go forward from this. This will be a matter which will be discussed where we might have to look at setting out some guidelines. So that's not something fucking that David Cameron would say, you know what I mean, little prick. Participants register to take part in the parade on the Friday night where they also pick up collection tins. However, committee members are not told in advance what participants plan to dress up as. So, clearly you can dress and wear what you want to wear, right? And obviously, one only one person had an issue with it, so I really don't see what the fucking problem was. Police Scotland confirmed it is carrying out an investigation, but would not comment any further. That's what amazes me more than anything is the fact that they're carrying out a fucking investigation and they're hunting down three people for wearing gollywog fucking costumes at some, some dress up event where they were told they could wear whatever they wanted to wear. You know, that, that's no different for, to me from them going to a high school prom and taking a pop at someone because they've got a specific kind of dress on or they went to a fancy dress costume party and well, they're going to start going around to fancy dress costume parties now. And, like nicking anyone that fucking dresses in a fucking World War Two uniform or something like that, or a Nazi uniform. Is is this what is this what it's going to go to? They're going to be pulling people from fucking these kind of parties right, left, and centre because you can't, you can't dress that way. It's it's someone will find it offensive. Um, who's reported me? Uh, just one person. <laughs> we have to arrest you now. Off to the cells you go. This is the way it's going to fucking go. This fucking headline is hilarious. On this other one here, please investigate. Gollywog Trio. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. Pictures of the trio have been, have been posted on Facebook and Twitter as well as a local website. Mrs. Plowman said the aim of the committee is to organise an event where people can enjoy themselves. She said, Wick Gala is a charity fundraising event and if we start dictating to people what they can and can't go at is it could lead to the end of the gala completely. This will be a matter which will be discussed where we might have to look at setting out guidelines. If guidelines were to become or if guidelines were to be introduced, it would need to ensure that they were not so strict that people would be put off from taking part. If we start dictating what people can come and can't come and dress as, it could make things even worse. I don't know if it will get to the point if people would have to produce a picture of what they are coming as before they take part. So as you can see, pretty fucking ridiculous. The whole point of a fucking uh, fancy dress costume party or something along those lines are that, you know, it's, it's the whole thing of what am I going to wear, uh, we're all going to turn up at once and see what people are wearing, that's the whole fucking point. What's the point taking pictures before you go just to make sure you don't offend anybody? And what fucking irritates me more than anything about this whole scenario is the fact that police could be doing so much better things with their time. You know, they could be investigating proper criminals, going after proper criminals. And they're hunting for fucking people dressed as gollywogs. Shocking. This is Watchdog Central. I shall catch you in the next motherfucking video if I don't have a stroke before then and fucking die. Thanks for watching.